Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Frugalissima, my name's Sam and this is where I talk about all things sewing. Today is day 90 of 100 days of sewing and I've got another belated Frugal Friday for you. First of all I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed so far to my channel. I talk about sewing on a budget and uh, making sewing accessible to people whether that's in terms of cost or skills. So if that's the sort of thing that you like please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and thank you so much to everyone who has done so. So today I'm going to be talking about eight new free patterns that I found this week and a few discounts. I've got a giveaway for a sewing machine if you hang on until the end and some notification of some challenges that I've found this week as well so for you to take part in. Some of them have got prizes and some of them are for charity. So let's get straight on to the first free pattern that I've found for you this week is the Milton Pinafore and that is through Peppermint Magazines and it is a pattern by Just Sewing. I've never used Just Sewing patterns before so I'm not sure what their um, pattern instructions are like but this does look like a really nice pattern. So it's a, an unusual style pinafore in that it's got this deep V at the front and then more or less bare at the back. You've got some straps that you can wear straight or cross over and you do that in the form of a button. The buttons go down the back of the skirt and then you've got some bust arts that have come from the waistline up into the uh, into the bust area in the pinafore. You've got a flat skirt, pockets and it's cinched in at the waist. They're calling it cottage style, I'm not sure whether it is or not, not to my mind it isn't but if they're saying it's cottage style they know better than me. So this is available in two cup sizes, so you've got the B and C cup which is available from 34 to 46 and the double D cup is from 46 to 60. So that in terms of inches is 31 and a half inches up to 57 and a half inches for the bust and up to 60 inches for the hip. There's about four inches of ease at the hip as well and you'll need 1.75 to two and a half yards of fabric. It's designed for woven fabrics, is that this one. Yeah, it's a nice one, it's a bit different. Uh, I'm wearing my Paddington top today uh, and that was the last free pattern from Peppermint magazine and I've worn this lots, it's been a good pattern. So the next one is the Linear Top by Sinclair Pattern. So I've got Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door to thank for this one. She gave us the heads up on her Facebook group about this one. Sinclair Patterns are a bit different in that they do draft for heights. Uh, they do three heights, so for, for me being a little bit on the tall side I don't have to do any extra grading between heights so it's usually sleeves that I forget to grade for and uh, with this being a sleeved top it's a good one. So I've just got the Harper cardigan on Monday today. This is a free pattern from Sinclair Patterns. Made this a uh, couple of times, worn this an awful lot so I can vouch for the instructions on this pattern company. They are really really good and thorough. Lots of information for grading and what have you. So the linear top is a great one. Loads and loads of options for a free pattern. This is only available free until the 30th September. So you've got loads of colour blocking options on it. You've got a couple of sleeve options. You can have a colour blocked on the sleeve. You can add cuffs. You can have a curved hem. You can have a straight hem. You can have a banded hem. And then at the back you can put an extra yoke, a bit of extra colour blocking at the back yoke. And then what's really different is the colour blocking around the front neckline as well. So yeah, great one is this. Great if you've got some scraps to use up. It's saying you need a far weight, medium weight stretch for this one. So I would suggest something like a nice stable cotton jersey, especially if you're doing all that colour blocking around the neckline. You will need something that's fairly stable. And you need 20 to 30% horizontal stretch and up to 20% vertical stretch for it. So yeah, it's um, a crew neck semi-fitted at the shoulders, relaxed at the bust waist and hips and then you can have the, the colour blocking at the sleeves or you can just have traditional cuffs on it as well. It is available in PDF so that's A4 or US letter size. It's available as A0. It's also available as a projector file as this one as well and it is available in layers so you can just print off your own size. So that is available in sizes 0 to 30 which is 31 and a half inch bust up to a 60 inch bust and the amount of fabric that you need would really depend on how much colour blocking that you're going to do. Uh, so you need around about a yard for the bodice and around about a yard again for the sleeves but obviously if you're colour blocking then you can use up your scraps so you would need quite a bit less. Next are two from Mood patterns. The first one is a sweet bay dress and this is a wrap dress with a little bit of a difference because it's got this really accentuated poof on the sleeves. It is designed for woven, something with a little bit of 
body. They've used a polyester shantung for theirs, but anything like a medium weight linen for this one, cotton sateen. So it's got a slight airline at the skirt and the wrap isn't fastened with the traditional ties. It's either a snap closure or a hook and eye. And then it is actually French seamed throughout, is this? It gives you the instructions to do French seams apart from around the sleeves. So it is saying that it needs four to five yards. Mood always seem to say quite a lot of fabric, but it is a wrap dress. The sleeves are quite unusual on it and I would imagine they will take up a lot of fabric and then you've got a elastic sort of between the elbow and the cuff there so yeah really nice unusual dress that and the second one from Mood are the Ren jeans so whether you're on team skinny jeans or whether you're on team flares you've got best of both worlds with this one it gives you a bit of a 70s vibe which seems to be the the latest thing it's got a traditional fly front it's got a high waist and it's quite sort of fitted throughout the hips then starts to flare a little bit at the knees and then quite an exaggerated flare at the bottom. They are saying it can be made in a denim or any kind of cotton twill for this one and it goes up to a 63 and a half inch hip and you need about two yards of fabric for this one. So I will link to that and I'll link to all the patterns below. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So the next free pattern, number five, is from So So Easy and this is a two for one and they're calling this their long romper pattern. Now they brought out a romper pattern, a short romper pattern called the Selena quite a while ago and you can't tell from the long pattern pictures but it, it's like a double bodice so it's a v-neck which ties at the shoulders uh, elasticated at the waist and then it's the double bodice sort of comes back back over and hangs loosely around the waist so they're kind of saying you can go braless and it hides a, a multitude of sins so you can have a big dinner so yeah two for one this one like i said the selena's not a new one but the hack that they've put the trousers on is so yeah i think the long ver legged version will make it more wearable in the uk we're just coming into autumn but we're still having some fairly warm days here the romper would be great if you're going on holiday or something like that it'd be a nice easy one to pack they're talking about using a uh, fabric with a bit of drapes so or viscose or a crepe or something like that they are both designed for a woven fabric these are going from a 32 inch bust up to a 45 and three quarter inch bust there is no A0 for these patterns, it's just a downloadable PDF that you can print at home. The romper's a good one if you live in the southern hemisphere or you're lucky enough to be going on your jolly so anytime soon and the uh, long one uh, laid with a cardigan or something underneath is nice for autumn or if you're going into spring down, down under, that'd be a good one too. So next up is a zero waist pattern. So I've recently did a top 10 zero waist pattern video, so I'll link to that in the description box below but I missed this one and this is from Threads magazine so this is not for everybody because it is a draft yourself one and it's just taking your own measurements so you need either a 45 inch wide fabric or a 60 inch wide fabric depending on your size and then you actually cut out the pattern pieces on a piece of paper fit the paper to yourself or a mannequin if you've got a mannequin and then you know what fabric to cut out so it is saying you need one and seven eighths of a yard of fabric. So to me, that's not zero waste because you'd probably end up buying two yards or two meters anyway. But it's not, like I say, it's not for everybody. But I thought if you fancied having a go at zero waste without actually investing in either buying a pattern or printing a pattern off, you will be guaranteed that it fits you because you're using your own measurements. And uh, yeah, it's a nice one. It's a, It's got a halter neck and it's gathered in at the waist and I think you just do the gathering according to your size then. Worth a look at is that one. So my last free pattern is from Petite Stitchery. Now I'm not sure how old or new this is. I noticed on uh, Lisa Kitcher's video, she's got a YouTube channel called and so on. She was talking about the yogas and she's made these. So if you want to go across to her channel and have a look at the yogas that she's made. So they are essentially joggers, but with a yoga waistband, which I thought was nice, but they've got two patterns on here that I thought was interesting. The yogas have got four lengths. So you've got shorts, you've got uh, Bermuda length, Capri length and full length. You've got the optional pockets and then you've got this wide waistband. For the capri length and the long length, you've got the cuffs at the ankles or at the knee. It's designed for knit fabric. It's available in sizes 34 and a half inches up to 61 inch and it is a unisex pattern is this. And I think there's a kids version as well so you can make one for all the family. So can't tell you how much fabric you need for this one because it depends on your size and it depends on how you break it down. 
the sizing is broken down into whether you use colour blocking for your pockets and your waistline and your cuffs and what have you and it obviously depends on which version you go for as well. Uh, and the cape, there's a cape on there which looks like it's a, a fun one so I thought I'd feature that one as well. It's just like a circle and then sewn up at the side seams but it looks like you cut, you fold your fabric in half and then half again and cut the circle out so it looked like a fun one to try did that and great for anybody who's wanting something for this uh, transitional weather as well a cape's just something that go over your shoulders keep you nice and cosy or keep the sun off you if you want a lighter weight one and she's also got a discount on quite a number of her patterns on the petite stitchery as well so i'll just show you a, a screen grab of those whilst i'm talking and you can have a look at those. So whilst we're talking about discounts, I've got four new patterns for you that have all got discounts for their launch or the release. So the first one is two from Megan Nielsen. She has got a jumpsuit and a coat, both designed for woven fabrics. The jumpsuit is called the Durban jumpsuit and romper, and that's another one that's got mix and match. So you can have a V-neck, round neck, variety of sleeves and a variety of leg lengths as well so you can have the shorts or you can have the long length this one's got bust darts so it's quite fitted and then you can you can go for either patch or inseam pockets with this one as well and you can either have tapered or wide legs so lots of options for that one all views include optional belt and uh, belt loops and then there are inseam lengths for regular and tall people as well which is always great the coat is the hovea and that's loose fit with a dropped shoulder it's got it's curved at the the opening there and a couple of length options there as well. This is part of her new range where she's designing for straight fitting and curvy fitting. For both of them, there's two sets of sizes. So you've got zero to 20, and then in their curve sizes, you've got 14 to 34, and they're available in print and PDF. So if you sign up to a newsletter, you will receive 20% off if you add both of the patterns between the 29th of August and the 5th of September and that is with the code so Hovea Durban. Put it up on the screen, but I would suggest that you subscribe to her newsletter and then you can have a look. So yeah, I really liked the coat, especially when the, with the patchwork and ideas on it. It's a really nice one, is that? And then Wardrobe by Me, you've got a workwear jacket pattern. Uh, this is like a boxy fit with patch pockets. It's got a collar and cuffs and it's got a back yoke on this one as well. So some nice little details on the pockets as well. Suitable for all medium weight woven fabrics and it's got three euros off until September the 3rd. So it's 10 euros instead of 13. That's available in sizes 30 to 49 and a half inch bust. And there's about five and a half inches ease at the bust as well on that one. You can make it in a cotton or a linen or a wool or any sort of comfortable to wear fabrics sort of medium weight fabric and then Jane at dressmakers closet she used to be Lupi Mabel's closet she has started doing her own range of patterns and she has brought out another pattern which is called the Martha top this is a really pretty top it's got a little gathering at the neckline ruffled hem it's a high low hem and it's quite loose fitting and it's designed for like a linen or a viscose or something like that quite oversized and you've got uh, short sleeves and a little tight detail at the back. Normally £8.95 and it's got a 20% discount on until the 31st of August. You do need to subscribe to a newsletter for the code uh, so I will leave the link to her website below so you can get that. If you subscribe to her newsletter you will also be sent an email with some codes for fabric shops in the UK as well that stock suitable fabrics for this top. So that's your four patterns with discount codes. So on to competitions and challenges. And the first one is from Craft World, and that is to win a year's worth of McCall's patterns. And that is worth £130. That ends on the 30th of September. I think this is a new Love Sewing website. Uh, and so you need to register with Craft World to be in with a chance. And there's lots of free resources on there for all sorts of crafts, depending on what you like. Seems to be quite a lot of paper crafting on there, uh, but knitting and crocheting. So not just sewing. I find the website a little bit awkward to, to get round. So I'm going to share a screenshot to show you how to get to it. But you will need to register with Craft World to be in with a chance with that. And when you get on there, there's lots of other competitions as well. So on to Instagram challenges now. We're coming to the end of August now, so there's quite a few finishing. But at the end of each month, Lou at So Much To Design has the My Makes for the month. And there's some great prizes this month, actually. I think there's eight altogether this month. So there's PDF patterns and there's a $50 gift certificate and a sewing bag this month as well. And all you need to do for that 
is make a display on one page of everything that you've made for the month, tag in Lou at So Much To Design and tag in My Makes For The Month and you will be in the running for one of the prizes there. Then you've got the coming up to the end for the So Sustainable Sewing by Sew Over 50 and if you fancy either the zero waste pattern or the linear top they would be great if you've got some spare time over the bank holiday if you're in the UK and celebrating the bank holiday and on a similar vein then there is the Ellie and the Stitches or L and the Stitches Recycling Remnants which I mentioned before but that runs until the 11th of September and there's lots of prizes for that one as well so there's going to be quite a few good ones starting in September and the one that I will be joining in is So What I Have and that is running for three months. That is being run by Kate at Time to Sew and Joyce at Poplin Peony. They're just encouraging you to find inspiration in your stash and to shrink it a little bit by buying less. I've been doing the 30 year challenge and I'm still not, not finished with it so I will be joining in with that one I think. But there are some prizes for this one. The 30 yard challenge is no prizes so if you go to their Instagram page Page and keep an eye on their posts it will tell you the prizes that are coming up they've not actually announced those as yet a couple of charity ones now and one is a fantastic one raising awareness of gynecological cancer uh, and that is fund aware that's been run throughout the month of september so if you wanted to foray into the world of making your own underwear so that's panties knickers or whatever you want to call them that it's a good one to start with they are encouraging you to make you a pair and then denote, denote, de donate via their Just Giving page and every donation then is entered into a draw and there is a Genome sewing machine up for grabs on this one. They have got all sorts of prizes and they keep announcing them so I can't, I can't tell you them all. If you just join the Fundaway page on Instagram and you'll be notified of all the different prizes that they've got. So that's running all throughout the month of September and a good one to get involved with to raise awareness of gynaecological cancer. So share and donate, that's a little uh, catch line. So I am planning on putting together a video of free patterns, free underwear patterns at some point in September as well for that one. And then finally, a fantastic challenge that's been run by Mary Sows and that is the Project Dress a Girl. Myself and a few other YouTubers are getting together throughout the month of September to to, uh, promote this charity. I'll link Mary's website below. You can have a look at who's going to be getting involved and if you are either a YouTuber or you want to get involved in some way you can contact Mary and she will put, add you to the list I'm sure. I will be doing a video about some inspiration for some free patterns for it but essentially if you've never come across a, a dress for a girl. It's an international organisation that believes that every girl should have a nice dress to wear so they're not wanting second-hand dresses. There are some rules and regulations for it so if you look out for Mary's video on the 1st of September that will talk you through the guidelines. I will run through some guidelines as well because there's different needs in different countries so obviously I'm in the UK so I'll talk through some of the needs that I've been talking about with the representative over in the UK whilst they're distributing dresses to children and shorts for boys as well they're actually educating families about human trafficking so it is quite a serious and a uh, very worthwhile cause so if you want to get involved with that either leave me a comment below or get in touch with Mary and I will leave her website below as well and her YouTube channel. Right, that's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said before, if you've not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I've got some more videos coming up. I've got a review video coming up for this book, Sewing for the Soul, uh, shortly. And then those videos for the free underwear patterns and the inspiration videos for the Dresser Girl project. So thank you so much for watching. I shall speak to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.